move around. They wonder where the Good night, everybody. Last talk of the day. Paris Petgrave from Kaleidoscope. She's an entrepreneur and she's going to talk about the spirit of being a pioneer. Thank you, Paris. Thank you very much. Well, good evening, everybody. Um, my name's Paris, and I'm here representing Kaleidoscope today, the company that I was brave enough to start five years ago. And I'm really excited, so honored to be here tonight. I've been here since 10 a.m. this morning because, you know what, I really wanted just to see what this event was all about. You know, I'm not going to stand here, and I'm not going to profess that I am particularly techie in any way, because I'm not. I'm not the tech expert. You guys are the tech experts here. I am the person passionate about leadership, passionate about entrepreneurship. And I'm going to tell you a little bit later about you know, my journey in entrepreneurship and how um, I started up an organization which supports people like you, people with vision, people with crazy dreams to really go out there and make those dreams a reality um, through Kaleidoscope Enterprise Academy. Um, but, you know, my journey um, becoming an entrepreneur kind of started about five years ago. I was so tired of working, you know, working a mundane job where I wasn't really truly fulfilled. I wasn't fulfilled. I wasn't happy in what I was doing. I was working as a waitress. And I was really, 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 really tired. I was trying to pursue careers in different fields. I was really creative, and I really, really wanted to use my gift of creativity, you know, and really go out there and make a difference. But it wasn't working for me. You know, every single door seemed to be shut. And I had to make a choice. I had to choose. I had to say, you know, shall I continue to pursue, you know, this track, this treadmill, which looks like me working for somebody else, which looks like me really having to really try and be something that I'm not, or shall I take that leap of faith without having any experience in business? without having any qualification. You know, I hadn't done an MBA. I hadn't gone to university to do a business degree. But, you know, something was inside of me. Something was burning inside of me. Something so powerful that I just could not, could not contain it. I knew that I was on this earth right now for a purpose. And it didn't look like making, you know, um, mochaccinos. It didn't look like serving people food every day. There was something more, more that I had to do, something more inside of me that I had to contribute to society. I knew that I had something to give the world. I knew that I had something inside of me that the world needs. And, you know, I took that leap of faith five years ago. And it's so funny being here in this atmosphere of innovation, in this atmosphere of entrepreneurship, seeing people with dreams, with ideas, with visions for fantastic opportunities to go out there and make such a major, major difference in the tech world. And, you know, when I think back to my time, and my relationship with a computer back then as an entrepreneur, you know, I had a pink laptop. I had the most, you know, unsuitable laptop you could ever think of. And I sat in my room and I thought, you know what? I Googled how to write a business plan. I Googled all of the information about my organization. You know, this is the beauty about technology from the other side, you know. From the other side, what it really looks like as an entrepreneur out there with a dream, with a vision. And really how you guys make it accessible. You guys make it accessible for people to go out there and to, to, to pursue their dreams. So I started this business and I didn't really know where I was going with it. I didn't really have a clear plan, you know. But I knew that I had the confidence and the passion to go out there and make a difference and make it happen. And, you know, I, I took this journey, I took these steps, and I, I really put a plan in place, and I just decided that I was going to start up an organization that was going to help people to pursue their dreams, to, to pursue their purpose in life. And it looked like getting many young people, many people that, you know, were disadvantaged, that had really no hope, people out there that were unemployed for years and years, and getting them into um, opportunities to be employed, you know, to live out their purpose. So I started a recruitment company which was called Kaleidoscope. And I began going to the job centers and I began going to the DWP. And I began, you know, getting contracts which would support many, many people in the community into sustainable employment. And, you know, as I began to really go into this completely new field, this completely new territory, something that I wasn't um, familiar with, something that I wasn't used to, 
I really began to see what it really looked like to really run with that pioneering spirit. Because you know what, guys, you can have ideas. You can have great ideas. You know, you can have plans and, you know, you can have counsel and you can put plans into place. But if you really do not know what it truly is that you're on this planet to do, that divine purpose, that thing that's inside of you, that passion, that, that wanting to know really what it is that you're here to do on this planet right now, then, you know, all these ideas, all these plans, they really can never fulfill you. And, you know, what I thought it looked like for me to be successful wasn't what it looked like. Because at the end of the day, if I hadn't taken that leap of faith, if I hadn't have gone out there and began this journey into entrepreneurship, I would have never known what it really feels like, what it really looks like to really make a difference, really transform people's lives. So I started up Kaleidoscope, a training organization, and on this journey, I began to recognize a need, a need to go out there and support people just like you into setting up their own businesses. And I started Kaleidoscope Enterprise Academy, and I built this organization to support young people between the ages of 18 to 35 to start their own businesses. Now, since January, we've helped to raise up 40 businesses, 40 businesses out there right now from young entrepreneurs who had a dream and had a vision and, and, and really looked at taking that and making it a reality. Now, at Kaleidoscope Enterprise Academy, we are passionate about leadership. We are passionate about purpose. And you know, like I was saying, the, the spirit of an, um, an entrepreneur, the spirit of a pioneer really looks beyond what they can see in the here and now. You've got to have vision. You've got to know where you're going. You've got to know why you are called. You've got to know what it is inside of you that gets you frustrated, that gets you passionate, that gets you inspired to do something more, that breaks barriers, that goes forward, and that you really go out and you really make a difference in this world. And, you know, for, for us, we're really passionate about supporting that. We're really passionate about really going out there and supporting young people in our communities, young people who don't have opportunities to really go out there and make it accessible for them to write a business plan, to make it accessible for them to go out there and pursue a career in finance or in, a, in an area where they've never ever believed that they could go. Because us, us, the entrepreneurial people, the pioneers that go before them, that give them a hope and a future, that help them to believe in themselves, believe that there is more out there, there's a big wide world out there waiting for them. And that's why I'm so encouraged to be here today because it's people like you, people like you that have been in circles, that have been in places, that have learned things, your education, your training ground. And it's wonderful because it's not just for you. Your experience, where you've been, what you know, you know, I've been so inspired today when I looked around and I've heard the wonderful speakers and all of these wonderful technologies that are being birthed in this nation, in Europe, in this moment, in this season. And I see it and I'm in awe and I say, you know what, thank God, because you know what, there is a world out there. A world out there of young people, a world out there of people that are disempowered, that are broken that have no idea that they could actually go out there and make and be everything that they're called to be. But you know, the beauty of technology is that you guys, you operate in a culture of innovation. You have fantastic ideas and you don't, you, you're, you're not afraid to make those ideas into wonderful operations, wonderful things that can really go out there and really touch lives. And my, my dream is to see people like you, tech entrepreneurs, getting fired up Fired up for your nation, fired up, fired up for communities, communities that don't have opportunities, communities that don't have the, the opportunity to go out there and make a living for themselves, Co communities that don't have an understanding of how to manage their money, communities that don't have an understanding of how to, to be healthy, the simple things, the things that me and you take for granted. We're in a season where we're going to see a change, where we're going to see a shift. You see, there's so much going on out there in the big wide world of tech. 
And you know, a lot of it is really based around, you know, connecting and, and promoting yourself in so many ways. But you know, I would dream to see a day when we can see pioneers like you, you guys out there going out there and saying, how can I really make a difference? in my community? How can I really make a difference? How can I use the gifts that have been given to me? How can I use the education that I have been blessed with to go out there and to see a need and to meet it and to really see how we can really make this marriage of tech with the world out there that's disadvantaged, with a world out there that has no hope and really bring hope through technology? You see, this is the thing, this is the beauty about technology. We have a blank canvas. We have a world of limitless possibilities. There is no ceiling. And when, you know, when we look at the great, great pioneers of our day, we look at Steve Jobs, we look at Bill Gates. You see, their ceiling has become your floor, guys. These great guys that have gone before you, these great women that have pioneered before you, their ceiling becomes your floor. It becomes your entry point. And you know, there is nothing impossible to those who believe, to those who have the faith, the faith in the unseen, those visionaries, those people that dare to dream, that didn't just dare to dream for themselves, that didn't just dare to dream for their own families, that didn't just dare to dream for their own bank accounts, but dared to dream for their generation. I believe there are people in this room that are absolute world changers, that are planet shakers, that are here strategically today just to hear what I've got to say. Because you know what, guys? I can't teach you what you already know. But what I can do and I can absolutely do is today challenge your thinking. Challenge your thinking. You're here today because you want to start a business. That's fantastic. And I'm so encouraged that there are people sitting here that want to take that leap of faith and want to go out there and want to start their business. But I want you to think a little bit deeper and a little bit harder about what it is. What it is that you're trying to achieve in this life, in this journey of life, in this life, in this blank canvas before you, what is it that you're trying to achieve? And why are you trying to achieve it? Really looking at purpose. Really looking at why it is you're here right now. What is it inside of you that is stirring up? What is it? What are those things that you look at and you think, you know what, I'm sick and tired of seeing this? What are those things that really, you know, evoke passion within you? A passion to really want to change because the spirit of the pioneer is a spirit that never gives up, is a spirit that never looks back, is a spirit that doesn't listen to the crowd, is a spirit that doesn't listen to the, the voice of negativity, but listens to the still, quiet voice within that says, yes, you can. Yes, you can. You know, there's a battle, there's a conflict going on when you're starting a business, a massive conflict. And it looks between fear and faith. You know, the fear in you holds you back. The fear in you challenges everything that you're trying to achieve. Because constantly you have a voice in your head, constantly questioning, constantly going over. Is this the right thing? Should you be doing this? You're, you're going to fail. You're never going to make it. And we have this conflict this conflict between fear and between faith. You see, faith is the substance of things unseen. You see, your vision, it might not have manifested in the natural. You might not see it right here like I see that chair, but you know what? That chair was birthed. That chair, that vision for that chair was birthed inside of somebody. And it, just like every single one of you in this room right now, there is vision inside of you. There is seed inside of you. And it's about stirring up those gifts, stirring up that passion within, recognizing that you're here for such a time as this. This is no coincidence that every single one of you are sitting in this chair right now listening to what I've got to say. Do not take it lightly. 
I believe that in this room are the future leaders of this nation, are the future pioneers, people that are able to do the most phenomenal things. But you know what? It's about belief. And the spirit of the pioneer will drive you through, will drive you through when everything looks like it's going, you know, south, when everything looks like it's about to, you know, you know, absolutely fall all over the place. The spirit of the pioneer is not fed by what you can see. It's fed by an innate desire to continue to break new ground. And you know what? There are groundbreakers in this room. There are people in this room that if they just believed, they just saw absolutely the bigger picture, you continue to pursue that dream, pursue that vision without ever, ever giving up, without ever quitting, without ever seeing a ceiling. You continue to press in to the unseen not fixing your eyes on what lies in front of you. You know, there's so much in this world that has a voice. It's not just you and I that have a voice. The media have a voice. You know, the television has a voice. The economy has a voice. Your bank account has a voice many times. You know, there's always a reason not to do it. There's always a reason to say no. You know, logic has a voice constantly. And there's a constant conflict, but you go, what? You can't listen to the voice of the crowd when you're a pioneer. When you're a pioneer and you're operating in the spirit of a pioneer, you cannot afford to listen to the crowd. You cannot afford to listen to the status quo. You cannot afford to listen to what your parents said or what their grandparents said or what their grandparents did. You can't afford to listen to where you've come from. You can't afford to listen to what, where you feel that you've fallen short. You can't afford to listen to those words that have been spoken over you. Words that have been spoken over you to try and stop you from going forth into your destiny. You see, it's not about you anymore. The spirit of the pioneer pushes through not just for that one person, not just for that one individual, but for your generation. You have been raised up as people in the tech world for your generation. Understand the calling over every single one of you. Understand the call the call to go forth, the go call to go ahead, the call to press in, the call to push through boundaries. Boundaries that separate, boundaries that disempower, boundaries that keep people in poverty, boundaries that keep people in absolute ignorance, boundaries that keep people in absolute misery. You see, that's the beauty. The beauty of being just like you guys, being able to create endless possibilities through technology, possibilities to reunite, possibilities to set free, possibilities, more than just the practicalities and the logistics and the tactics. It's much more than that. It's about strategies for generations, for nations, for legacy. It's about a new education system. It's about a new way of living. It's about freedom in its purest form. The freedom to think. The freedom to choose. The freedom to break out of the box and be everything that you are called to be. There is a calling. There is a calling. A greater calling. And you know what? These last few days in this event, I've just been looking and I've been seeing what's being manifesting and just the possibilities, the possibilities when two people come together for a common purpose, where they let their own, their own fears, their own fears, their own insecurities, their own what-ifs, their own questions, their own logic, their own mindsets that can be sometimes so restrictive. You know, I just speak over every single one of you that you will walk in a renewed mind. That this night, this, ever, this very second, you will walk out of this place. You will go out there and you will walk with a renewed mind. 
a mind that is not restricted, a mind that sees beyond, the mind that sees above. Because you guys have been called, you've been chosen. You've been chosen to make a difference in the world through tech. You are the gurus, you are the experts, and guess what, it's in you. The future is in you. The answer is in you. And if you say yes, you don't have to know what it looks like. Like the lovely lady who just did the presentation here, she said, you don't need to know what it looks like, but it's just taking those baby steps. Those steps of faith into the unknown, knowing and believing and trusting the inner voice, that voice that speaks to you, that still, quiet, confident voice. Because you see, the still, quiet, confident voice is the voice rooted in humility, is a voice rooted in you. You see, every other voice, the voice of fear, the voice of control, the voice of everything else that comes to distract you from the bigger picture, from the here and the now. You've got to shut out. You've got to put out. You've got to bolt the door on it, literally. It's not a pretty picture. It's not a romantic story. It's phenomenal what these great pioneers, what these great, great men and women of tech have done. But there's a cost and there's a sacrifice. And you know, a lot of the time when we want to get excited about becoming an entrepreneur and we want to get excited about, you know, let me start my business, let me do this, let me do that, we overlook that, that there is a cost, that there is a sacrifice. But why are you doing it? Are you doing it just for you? Or are you doing it for your generation? Are you doing it just so you can be comfortable or are you doing it because you want to bring comfort to the lives of millions and millions and millions of people all over the world just by what you do, what you love? You see, there's no sacrifice. It's just win-win because you're doing what you love. You're doing what you're awesome at. You're doing what you're born to do. But the beauty is if you say yes to the call, the call to make a difference, the call to change the world. You know, we hear this so lightly. Yeah, let's just change the world. Let's change the world. Let's change the world. Woo, woo. What's that really look like, guys? What does it really look like to you? What does it look like to you? Maybe it just looks like changing your world, changing your community, going out there and making programs accessible for people that have never used a computer again, going out there and bringing something to the next generation so that we don't just see people that are, you know, under the age of 30 knowing how to use a computer, going out there and thinking, how can I, how can I make it better for, you know, people that are older than me? How can I make it pe better for my, my grandparents' generation? How can I go into old people's homes? How can I go into care homes? How can I bring my gifting? the gift that's been given to me, my passion for tech, how can I bring that into the, the normality of everyday living so that I can make a difference, so that I can change? You know, there's so many flaws. There's so much out there. There's a big wide world for every single one of you. And a lot of the time I've heard over these you know, last few days about Silicon Valley, and I guess Silicon Valley is where it's at. But you know, there's so much else out there that you could penetrate, that you could infect with your passion for tech, with your, for your passion for what you love. There's so much more out there. There are pockets of society. There are places in the world where you could bring what you love, what you do so phenomenally well, your gifting, the gift that's been given to you that ability to teach, to inspire, to build, to create. The thing that you're excited about, the thing that brings you here to this event right now. There's a big wide world out there. And today I really want to challenge your thinking. I really, I really know that obviously Silicon Valley is where it's at and you might have these big dreams, but for one second, for one moment, there's a big wide world out there, guys. And you know, that's the beauty of being a pioneer. 
taking steps on new ground, taking steps on ground that no one has ever walked on before. And I mean no one. Being the first, the first to pioneer something so radical, so extraordinary, that it wakes everybody up. Because I truly believe that I'm looking at the next generation of leaders in tech that are going to awaken the entire industry. Awaken them to the fact that there's people out there, lives out there that can be changed, that can be changed, that can be transformed, that can be absolutely lifted up. And you can do these things using your gift using your talent, using your passion, using your knowledge. So I want you guys to, to really be challenged to what that looks like for you. And, you know, recognize that, you know, there is so much opportunity. We're living in a world full of opportunity. And at Kaleidoscope Enterprise Academy, we are passionate about supporting young people, older people, any people. We just are looking for passion. We're looking for pioneers, people that want to take that leap of faith, that have an amazing idea and that know that they know that they know that they know that it's been given to them for a purpose. And it's funny, at the main stage a few hours ago, they were talking about, you know, having an idea but not acting on it. And then, you know, a few weeks later, you're reading a magazine and you see the idea in the magazine. I truly believe sometimes ideas are floating in the atmosphere. And it's about us being accountable and responsible for what's been given to us. We've got to get accountable. We've got to get responsible. You guys have ideas. There's things that even some of you right now are thinking about right now. I know in your spirit something's stirring up within you. You're thinking, oh, yeah, I remember that. Oh, yeah, I thought about that. Don't let it slide. Be accountable for what's been given to you. It's been given to you for a purpose, for a reason. Why? Because you have everything that you need to make it a reality. Sometimes we look outside of it ourselves. We look outside of ourselves for the answers. But the answer truly is within. It starts within. Victory is within. Passion is within. Perseverance comes from within. Courage comes from within. Faith comes from within. Those are the things that are going to be your greatest tools. You can have all the money in the world. You can have all the resources, all the books, everything you need. But you know what? Those are the raw ingredients for success. And if you don't have those things, you know, you could get a million books. You could get a library full. But if you don't have the raw ingredients for, for absolute success, absolute unashamed, absolute radical success, it looks like courage. It looks like faith. It looks like belief. Because you can't see it yet. But you know, you know that you can walk into it. You believe that every door is going to fling wide because you're going to push and you're going to press like never before. And you're not just running for you. You're running for every single person that can follow you because you're called to lead. You are called to lead. And you know what? It's pretty hard following someone that's stationary. You've got to keep running. You've got to keep moving. Keep moving. Keep moving. As a pioneer, you've got to press in. You've got to keep running that race. It was amazing. You know, we were at the Olympics in 2012, and I remember watching the relay race and just thinking, wow. You know, just the whole dynamic of the relay race. You're running, you're running, you're running, you're running, you're running, and you don't want to drop that baton. And then it's like, bam, you give it to the next person, and they continue to run. It's like that. You know, the Steve Jobs, they run the race. Bam! Is your hand ready? to take that baton? Is your hand ready or have you forgotten who you really are, who you truly are, why you got into this thing in the first place, why you were so passionate about computers, why you're here right now? Have you forgotten? He was running that race. He was running that race. And you know what the truth is? 
We never know the moment, the hour, that it's time for us to go. But you know what? We keep running that race with perseverance. We keep running that race for humankind. We keep running the race. Are you ready? Are you poised? Are you in position to take that baton and run and break new ground? And keep running and keep running and keep running until it's time to go, hey, next generation, bam. It lies with you. It lies with you right now, this baton. And I just want to encourage every single one of you in this room. Every single one of you. I don't know where you're at right now. I've never met any one of you, but I know that you're here for a reason. I know that I've stirred something up inside of you. And I know even if it's not now, a few weeks, a few months, you're going to recognize that that baton is for you, for you to run with. Regardless of where you've been, regardless of where you're going, you run with it and you don't stop because you're chosen. You're a chosen generation. You're a privileged generation. You are a creative, wonderful, powerful generation. And it's now. It is now. It's not next week. It's not yet this year. It's is now. Now is the season to move. Now is the season to act. And I don't know what that looks like for every one of you individually. It could have been a dream that you had 10 years ago and something stirring up within you to say, why did I let that go? Why did I let that go? But guess what? You pick up that bed and you, you start running. You start running. It is not over yet. You've got to dust yourself off and you've got to say, you know what? It is not over yet. I am here for a reason. I am here for a purpose. And every day that I am blessed to be living, breathing, seeing, I have my legs intact. I have my arms intact. I'm going to run this race because I know that I know that I'm called. I'm chosen. I have gifting and I have something to give the world. I have something to offer the world. I have something that the world needs. I just got to trust. I just got to put my best foot forward. I just got to persevere. I just got to pioneer this thing so that I can leave a legacy, not for me, no, for my generation, for those who come after me, so that my ceiling can become their floor and we can continue to soar. We can continue to soar. Reach new heights, new possibilities. It's all there for the taking, guys. And it's free. And it's there for you. It's a gift for you guys to enjoy. And there is nothing, nothing that can stop you if you believe. Nothing that can become impossible if you believe. So I just want to encourage every single one of you today. You know, Kaleidoscope would love, absolutely love, if you've got a business idea, if you're thinking of starting a business, you don't know where to start, you might have an idea, you might need investment. We want to help you because we truly believe in you. We believe in the calling over your life. We believe in the gifting. We believe in, in what is inside of you. We might not see it yet. You know, we've heard from amazing speakers of how they've done phenomenal things. They've built wonderful businesses. And sometimes when you're on that side and you're in that chair, you're like, wow, that's amazing. Oh, my goodness, how am I ever going to get there? But guess what? It's inside of you. It just needs someone to draw it out. It just needs someone to believe in you and say, do you know what? Come on, just go with it. Let's be accountable to each other. Let's make this happen. Let's make this happen this season. It's never too late. You're hearing this for a purpose. You're hearing this message for a reason today. It's not about me. It's about you guys right here, right now. And I just really, really, really would love if you need any support, if you want to connect with us, if you just want to just run things by us, if you want us just to be your accountability partners so that we make sure that this thing comes out and gets out there in the big wide world, I would be happy, so happy to do that. Because I want to see the treasure 
the treasure that's inside of every single one of you. I want to see it out there in the big wide world because I know that I know that I know that every single one of you, without exception, has a contribution, has a contribution to make to society that's going to be so phenomenal, that's going to be so powerful, that's going to transform lives, that's going to make a difference. And we want to hold your hand. We want to make it happen. We want to see you. We want to cheer you on. Because this isn't about us as individuals. It's about the gifting and the calling over our life for the greater good. So we, will, we do want to change the world, and we want to do it corporately. And, you know, I'm so excited. I'm excited to be connecting with people like you, people that have been in the tech world, that have the idea, that have the vision, and crazy people like me that are fiery and that want to see world transformation. If we come together for that purpose, anything is possible. So... Come and connect with us. Come and connect with us. My colleagues, Wave Sarah, she's here, Rob and Sandra are here. If you do want a business card or you want it's just to run um, your contact details by us, please do. Um, questions, if you've got any, I'll try my best. Nothing too technical there, guys. Do you guys have any questions? Or you want to talk to Paris afterwards? No? No questions? No. <laughs> Oh, thank you. <laughs> thank you very much. Thank you, Paris. No worries.